rent in Toronto is absolutely insane. Well, I just found out my rent's gonna be increased from $2,100 a month to $2,400 a month for a one bedroom condo in Toronto. When it comes to rent in Toronto, social media doesn't lie. If you're in Toronto, you can get this room for $800. There's no curtains, no privacy. It's an open room, which is a den. There is no window, no door. What the hell is going on? What is this city? What is this city? The average rent for a one bedroom apartment in Toronto right now is $2,481. That's 20% higher than the year before. And we're not talking about big places. We're talking about around 500 square feet. So that likely means a small kitchen, small living room, small bedroom, not much space for almost $2,500. So is there a fix for this? And how did it even get so bad? One factor, those rising interest rates. They mean people aren't buying houses right now. So that means more renters, more competition, more demand. Two, people just aren't getting paid enough. Incomes are not keeping up with the rising cost of living. And three, people who study this say that not enough of the right kind of housing, affordable rental units, is being built. This is unprecedented in Toronto history. This spike, the rapidity with which rents have gone up is really unusual. We caught up with Karen Chapel from the University of Toronto, one of North America's leading experts on urban planning. Well, the big surprise right now is that this is hitting the middle class. That for the first time, we're really seeing folks at median income or 120% of median income not being able to enter the rental market. Here's why. The general rule is that you should only spend 30% of your pre-tax income on rent. So for that average one bedroom apartment at about $2,500, that means you'd have to be making $100,000 a year. It is overwhelming. It's hard not to get disheartened about it. Thank you. People are coming in with like really high expectations, and then as they see the options in the market, they're realizing, okay, I have to be more realistic. Realtor Paula Resnick says Toronto's rental market is like a roller coaster, at times an emotional one. So when you have a client who says to you, I want this, 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 and this is my budget, and you have to say, not so fast, you're not gonna be able to afford that here. What are those conversations like? Just definitely like very frustrated. Um, I remember I had a call with someone recently, they were just like, I can't believe this. Paula shows us a listing for a small one bedroom. In 2019, it was $2,200 a month, now $2,400 for 499 square feet. And what if someone wanted a bigger place to perhaps start a family, for example? Like an example of a two bedroom in the same area in the core will be like starting at $2,950 and it'll go up to like $3,200. Wow, that's expensive. I mean, that's like a pretty like, like not luxury building, like pretty average building. Do you see people just completely throwing up their hands and saying like, I can't, I can't live in this city, it's crazy. Yeah, no, 100%. The pool of people that can afford a one bedroom for rent in Toronto is quite small. And this isn't just a Toronto problem. Average rents across Canada are now more than $2,000 a month for the first time ever. In Vancouver, the average rent for a one bed is $2,633 a month. In Calgary, it's $1,710. And in Atlanta, Canada, that number is $1,716. This rental market is like absolutely insane. What the hell is this? Seventeen fifty for a room. Not the entire apartment, just for a room. And so what are some of the fixes for this? Well, I, I think we need the renovation revolution. I think we need to make it super easy to convert our single family houses. We have a lot of them, even in the downtown Toronto area. We need to be able to convert those quickly to uh, triplexes, fourplexes, um, and make rental units out of that. Ontario plans to build 1.5 million new homes over the next 10 years, including 285,000 in Toronto. We want to return the dream of home ownership to the next generation of Ontarians. Toronto's mayor, John Tory, says the city needs more. So he's increased the city's housing budget to create more multi-tenant housing and more supply. We've made good progress in the last eight years on housing, but more needs to be done. 
And the need to make this better is growing every day. I mean, at the U of T, we have new assistant professors who can't afford rental housing in Toronto on their university salary. That is a huge problem, and let alone the, the firefighters, the school teachers. What kind of impact does that have on a city? It really means that a city like Toronto is becoming more and more exclusive. Um, and it means that we'll lose that wonderful diversity, the multicultural aura of Toronto, which is so unique, which really gives it its identity. That's all at risk now.